Welcome back to my channel, Makahopia. Ang content ng video ko ngayon is all about the seven sacraments. So, i-explain ko o babasahin ko ang ilan doon sa mga naisulat sa seven sacraments and then uh, at tandaan natin uh, sa Roman Catholic kasi isa sa mga pinaka-importante ang seven sacraments kasi kung hindi tayo nababaptize na, uh, sa, isa sa mga seven sacraments andun yung ano, baptism so we are not fully pledged na sinasabi natin ano, Roman Catholic kasi we, if we are going to have this first uh, sacrament of baptism we will going to be considered as a Roman Catholic because we are recognizing uh, what you call this uh, in the three persona which is the person as one na sinasabi natin na in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit so yun po nagsimula yung ano yung yung being Roman Catholic natin so ibabaptize po tayo sa sa ano sa 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 tubig the holy water at doon na kung fully page na magiging ano tayo Roman Catholic but it doesn't mean na nabaptize ka na and then you will not going to have this obligation tulad ng uh, to be followed by yung ano, confirmation and then to be followed by next and next and next and at the same time kasi may mga may mga bagay na dapat natin ano, gagawin at sundin para uh, maging truly member tayo of the Church of the Roman Catholic so nagugulan minsan yung mga tao kung bakit uh, sabi natin na, na ang daming Christian but they have different uh, what we call this church so in sa part po namin being a Roman Catholic we believe in the Holy Spirit. We believe that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit as one. Ibig sabihin si Jesus Christ po yung ano namin sentro ng sentro ng lahat at siya po yung ano siya po ang aming Panginoon, ang ating Panginoon sapagkat he sacrifices life to death na yun ang sinimula po yung ano cross si Pink na sabi natin uh, sinasabi natin ano uh, salvation of life. He uh, God's offer his life for our sins. And, and and ang sabi pa niya sa ano sa sa ano sinasabi pa niya na I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to my father except through me and crucifix po yung symbol ng ano Roman Catholic so yan po makahopya The first, the first sacrament is baptism. It's the sacrament instituted by Christ for conferring the forgiveness of the original sin. The adaptation as God's children and the incorporation in the church, the term baptism originates from the Greek word baptismos, originates from the word baptismos means immersion since in the early centuries this sacrament was mostly celebrated by submerging the catechumens in water jesus was also baptized by immersion in the jordan river jesus instituted the sacrament of baptism before the ancient ascension when he declared to his apostles go therefore make disciples of all the nations baptize them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit teaching them to observe all that i commanded you baptism is the lengua detail spiritualis meaning the door of the spiritual life being a precondition for the other sacrament and for the salvation as jesus said to nicodemus no one can enter the kingdom of god without being born of water and of spirit the seven, the second sacrament is confirmation is the sacrament that confers the fullness of the Holy Spirit. It is called confirmation because it ratifies and strengthens 
the baptism or the baptismal grace, making us mature Christians and soldiers of Christ. The term confirmation originated from the Latin word confirmare, meaning to ratify. Since the confirmary approved as adults the baptism they received when it's infant. This sacrament is called also chrismation. It refers or the reference to its matter. When or with the Holy Chrism or the Holy Chrism, Jesus instituted the sacrament of confirmation on the every of Easter everything or every every of Easter Sunday. When he appeared in a cynical and said, As the Father has sent me, so I sent you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. This accomplished what Jesus and what Jesus has promised during the Last Supper. When he comes or comes the Spirit of Truth, he will guide you to all the truth which was fulfilled at the Pentecost, they, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues. The third sacrament is the sacrament of the Eucharist. Eucharist is the memorial sacrifice of the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ making substantially present his real body and blood under the species of bread and water and bread and wine. The name derives from the Greek word Eucharistia, which means thanksgiving. Since it is the worship of gratitude to the Father for his son's redeeming of offering, the sacrament was instituted by Christ during the Last Supper. When Jesus was a trouble with his twelve apostles, he blessed the bread, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which will be given for you. Do this in memory of me. And likewise, the chalice after they had eaten, saying, This chalice is the new covenant in my blood which will be shed for you. The Eucharist is the memorial of the sacrifice of Christ because it re renacts his passion, death, and resurrection. During the Holy Mass, the sacrifice of the cross is offered anew, and our Lord becomes really and substantially present in his body and blood under the sacred pieces of the bread and wine.